You'd do well to pass that drinking gourd next to that belt and, and not forget the cup. So much water. I'm still thirsty. You may not know why you're here, so I'm going to tell you. They call me Moses. And that in itself should give you some shape as to what's being formed. I'm aware you're not here for etymology, and rightfully so. A life so young should only seek its immortality. I guess it could be said that you're here for immortality. And sure enough, child, while you can't have my son, you surely could give me Grandchildren that know the difference between a drum and a drummer, a hum and a hummer, or a grave and a palace. Life always tells its best jokes near bedtime. I guess when you're humming, the devil don't know what you're thinking, <laughs> and when you're thinking, he don't know better to hum. You go on, follow her. She young enough to know what you're saying and old enough to know what you mean. No use hanging out here. Heaven knows the dreams of dead warriors have only caused chaos for the nosy souls who venture there. Go on. Mm -hmm. She'll take you beyond this underground to all the places where we come from. I know one thing in this world Ever since I was a girl It may seem complex to some But I know where I came from Where I came from Africa Where I came from Middle Passage Where I came from Dorchester Where I came from Bucktown Where I came from Plantation
is where I came from. Claimed Harriet as my name, cause I carry mama's pain. I tell you, life just wasn't fun on plantations that I came from. Where I came from, innovators. Where I came from, holy grail. Where I came from, belly of a whale. Where I came from, shanty shack. Where I came from, plantations. Came from many a time, my will was. But by the grace of the Creator, it sure was never broken. I've seen the whip tear the block off the back of the strongest man, leaving scars that run deeper than the hate that created it. I too carry those scars, but they have not. Weighed my will down so far that I am not able to push on, make good, and be of service. But there was this one time that I wasn't sure that I would be able to even save myself, yet alone fill the hearts of men and women with a light of hope. Please, please, please. I say, Master, please, please, please. I'm not gonna stop. No, no. I'm not gonna drop. No, no. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Until I'm. To my savior, God from you, 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 Master, please, 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 I said. The Creator answers prayer. So I pray day and night for that man's evil ways to change. Change, I pray. Change, please change. That blow to the head certainly changed me. 
from that day, I realized the power of dreams, the desire for my soul to wander, and the need for me to move on. I would fall asleep without warning, sometimes in the middle of walking in the fields, cleaning the Brody house, washing my face in the morning, eating my food in the evening, or praying to the Creator at night. Lord, I prayed, but it seems your answer wasn't the healing of their corrupt hearts, but the freeing of my spirit through dreams. Sometimes I felt that I was floating, floating above and beyond things I knew. Water. It was like water, I, I tell you. My lungs were filled with a coolness. My heart was motionless. And my breath vaporized before my very eyes as I drifted into calm. Ain't no deal in the wheel that's rolling back Can't loose the hounds on the grounds they will attack Murder plantations and nations who've yet to see frustrations Will in the building of a whole new damnation well, then we poked and joked, we held our necks and felt the rope. Well, damn, I hope the note that left my throat will find the ears to tell the fears that I felt when I awoke. Today is yesterday's dream. And tomorrow you know what I've seen When I awoke When I awoke When I awoke When I awoke The coffin creaked And all the dead took arms in the street when I awoke, the taste of tears left stains and no one saw but the rain. When I awoke, eyes of blackness wished and wondered what is my madness. When I awoke, my journey was clear, only my spirit knew what was near. When I awoke, a calm came from a star plainly stating you are who you are today is yesterday's dream and tomorrow you Rolling back Can't lose the hounds On the grounds They will attack Murder plantations And nations Who be yet to see frustrations Willing the building Of a whole new damnation When I awoke The coffin creaked When I woke The taste of tears When Today
I hated working in the Brody house cause there was nothing worse than Mrs. Brody trying to tell me how to keep her house clean. <laughs> cause of that, I was happy to be hired out to do work in the woods. Some people might say that it's man's work, huh? but if it got me away from them slavers for even an hour Afternoon, I was sure to do it, and do it better than most men. <laughs> it was through working in them woods that I came across the company of seamen and other black people who had bought their freedom. They told me all kinds of news about what was happening outside the plantation. I found out about the abolitionists who were fighting to end slavery and free us people. Mm. Heard about revolutions in South America and the Caribbean and what slaves were doing over there to make things right. <laughs> I even heard that there were white folk who were trying to help us. Oh, and that nearly knocked the wise out of my wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I heard many things, but the most important was what I heard about escaping to freedom.
I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran all the way to Philadelphia. Hard to believe, but yes, I made it north to freedom. But after time of being there, I became weary and sad thinking about my family and other people slaving away while I was in Philadelphia. It came to me that I could never be free if all my people weren't free. So I worked odd jobs in hotels and down at the harbor, saving my money to use to get my people free. But I don't want to give any crazy ideas about gaining freedom. Truth is, I wasn't sure how I was going to get my people north without getting caught. But as I said, the Creator answers prayer. And after being in Philadelphia for almost two years, I became known with William Still, Robert Purvis, Thomas Garrett, Edward Davis, James Mutt, and many others. I learned in great detail the workings of the Underground Railroad. Now, don't go thinking I'm talking about choo-choo trains and steam engines. I'm talking about conductors, yes, passengers, yes, stations, absolutely. What I'm talking about is a secret network of people and places used to lead freedom seekers and fugitive slaves to freedom. Through this railroad, I went back to free my people. I know you well Must flee before light Do you hear the bells? The bells of liberty rings Rings high as the heavenly king
My people are hungry. This hunger is so deep in their bellies that the screams of their spirits echo in their minds. This hunger is so painful and wretched that any suggestion of substance is often welcomed as food. But we don't need just any food. Any food has never been good for anyone. And any fool knows that any food is only good for any hunger. We are hungry, but not hungry for anything. Our hunger is specific. Our hunger can only be cured by freedom. And we're gonna cure that hunger with the full lot of liberty, the immensity of emancipation, and the feast of freedom. This here railroad is gonna take us there. Our feet will find the fertile soil of freedom through this underground railroad. Our hands will hold the heart of life's heat and fill our minds with its hues through this underground railroad. We will move on up this railroad through the underground, up into the above ground and beyond. Moving up the railroad. Moving up the railroad. We be moving up the railroad. Moses was a mover and shaker. We be moving up to the height of our maker. Well, I'm moving up the railroad with Moses' glory. Moving up the railroad to live my story. We'll be moving. and fate will always be at war on this railroad. I've traveled up and down these tracks many times and with many a people. And I can tell you, the frail will always wail if you don't corner their fears between a white wall and the cold steel of a loaded rifle in the grip of blackness that says, choose your freedom. Through faith, the fate of freedom becomes a choice. 
Yet, I always wonder, could our shackles be so comfortable that we forget that we were born without them? All the same, this train must move, so I warn all my passengers, one shot for the one who stops, and the one who stops will get one shot. I'll say it again and again till the end, cause the end, my friend, is always around the band. Ain't no turning back on this here track. Moses, I can't go on. One shot. Moses, I don't feel strong. One shot. Moses, the track is long. One shot for the one who stops, and the one who stops will get one shot. We must go back. Fat bear, the whip is still wet with our blood and our tears. Or did you forget? I think we lost. Lost and found a route to our freedom. Let's not end it right now We must push on while we're breathing Moses, 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 Moses One shot for the one who stops And the one who stops will get we must go on one shot. Some folks won't agree with what I'm about to say. And the truth is, only time will tell the truth of my day. What I'm talking about is destiny. I tell you, the destiny of black folks is tied to the fate of white folks. And though this don't mean none to some, it means everything to those who plan to understand why we must work together. There are many folks who are still unaware of the motivations of the last 400 years. And to them, I say, cotton knits make good clothing, but don't get caught in it. We who dream awake speak when our spirits move us, for our minds may spill spells of monotones. I've seen this knowingness in the Quakers who call to the cause of our destiny to end the fate of oppression. Though I, I can't name none of them for the sake of their safety. I will say that whenever I'm near them, I feel like we are neighbors. Quaker neighbor, did you call me to your home? Quaker neighbor, did you call me, call me, call me to your home? Cause if you did, I'm coming. If you did, I'm running. If you did, I've been knocking at your door. Got a key out of sight, got the bloodhounds howling all night. Quaker neighbor, are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> 
right. You see, this land is filled with mighty good and mighty bad. Sometimes the good don't know just what they have. And the bad, well, the bad ain't seen the baddest of bad times yet. But I'm calling on your neighbor, cause I know you've seen my slaver. Gotta keep the train humming, and I know you see me. To my neighbor, Quaker neighbor, did you call me to your home? Quaker neighbor, did you call me, call me, call me, call me to your home? The destination of my trips changed when the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 came in. Because of that act, northern states had to return, well, return escaped slaves. It became dangerous for freedom seekers to settle in the north, so I made sure each group I conducted made it safely to Canada. Oh yes, we were fighters seeking freedom. A platoon of soldiers making marks on cypress trees, leaving a trail for souls to follow. Some cloudy nights, we couldn't find our drinking gourd, so we'd search for the mossy side of trees, cause oftentimes, that's where the drinking gourd would be. Wherever there's water, there's life. And up here, we got trillium plants to prove it. <laughs> Covered by this northern sky that stretches way up to the midnight sun. We're cozy with freedom. Not the freedom that's bent on doing anything we want. Mm -mm. But a freedom transfixed on getting all we are due.
minds and spirits were formed in lands far away, but not beyond the reach of dreams. I'll remind you that this is not the end nor the beginning, because the Underground Railroad of life has no beginning and no end. It is light. It is love. It is will. It is freedom. But most of all, it is yours. Real time, wrapped in some flesh, for the wear and tear of life. We step beyond the highest mountain to claim the life we left behind. The moon turns blue, and when it's due, And buying a plan, is it? Kids in custody, lifeline looking ugly. Is it better to die for colors or die for their country? No, it's like refugees in their own country. Hungry, writing what I say right in front of me. Are they watching me? Eyes and skies like satellites. Wonder what the ancestors are thinking in the afterlife. Maybe they glad we out of shackles and chains. Back then they trailed us, nowadays surveillance. My brain busting open like fallopian tools. Fertile like percenters when they dropped all them jewels. We march when little rock nine try to break in they schools. Now we rock and rock away, it's broke and break in they school. Old folks accusing, say we're talking excuse. But mind them say the world is hard, you gotta walk with your tools. But whether waiting in the water or the streets of concrete, no stars will last forever from the West to the East. To the east. 